Welcome people to a new update of Hurricanes Irma, Jose and Katia. I'm going to start first with Hurricane Irma that remains a category 5 hurricane even that it's weakening. Uh, Irma has right now winds of 165 miles per hour gusting to 200 miles per hour. The pressure is 920 millibars and it's moving west northwest at 16 miles per hour. It's located at 21.3 degrees north, 72.4 degrees west, about 55 miles east northeast of Credinagua, and 585 miles east southeast of Miami, Florida. The hurricane force winds extend up to 75 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend up to 185 miles from the center. There are plenty watches and warnings in effect for this hurricane and hurricane warnings are in effect for the Bahamas and Cuba, the provinces of Camagüey, Ciego de Avila, Sancti Spiritus and Villa Clara, the Dominican Republic from Cabo Engaño to the northern border with Haiti, in Haiti the northern border of Dominican Republic west to Mols Saint Nicolas and the Terce and Caicos Islands. Hurricane Watch is in effect for Cuba in the provinces of Matanzas, Guantanamo, Olguin and Las Tunas. Also, there is a hurricane watch in effect for Florida, covering Jupiter Inlet, southward around the peninsula to Bonita Beach, Florida Keys, Lake Okeechobee and Florida Bay. There is a tropical storm warning for Cuba in the provinces of Guantanamo, Olguin and Las Tunas, in the Dominican Republic, from south of Cauengaño, westward to the southern border with southern border with Haiti, and in Haiti, the south of Mont Saint Nicolas to Port au Prince. There is also a storm surge watch in effect for Florida, uh, covering Jupiter Inlet southward around the peninsula to Bonita Beach and the Florida Keys. You can see in the next map the prediction of different models about the, the future of Irma and practically all the models are predicting a direct landfall in Florida unfortunately. Also there are two or three models predicting a direct landfall in Cuba that in a different way could be good news for Florida because Irma will be much weaker but anyways there's no, there's no good news for anyone because a hurricane just caused a lot of destruction at any part at any time it passes through at, at any land I must say so practically there's no good news for any country any state Irma will cause a lot of destruction it is a pretty strong system so the people that lives in Cuba in the Bahamas and Florida have, uh, will not have been prepared right now because there's not much time left well, now moving on, let's go to Hurricane Jose, that is strengthening, and it's a category 3 major hurricane right now, and has winds of 120 miles per hour, gusting to 200, and, sorry, to, sorry, to 150 miles per hour, and the pressure of 966 millibars, moving at west-northwest at 18 miles per hour. It's located at 15.6 degrees north, 53.9 degrees west, about five, sorry, 635 miles east southeast of northern Leeward Islands. There's a hurricane watch in effect for Antigua and Barbuda, San Martin and St. Martin. Practically those islands uh, re uh, resumed the hurricane watches after being this in the same conditions when Irma was approaching to those islands three or four days ago. So practically more destruction, more rain, more storm surge will come to those islands unfortunately. There, there is also a, a tropical storm warning in effect for Antigua and Barbuda and Anguilla. A tropical storm watch as well in the, in the Anguilla, Montserrat, Saba, St. Eustatius and St. Kitts and Nevis. And then the last storm of those three active in the Atlantic Ocean, we have this pretty small system, Hurricane Katia, that is practically moving pretty slowly to the southwest. It was stationary a few hours ago. And this hurricane is about to, it's expected to intensify, but not that much. 
and it will make landfall maybe tomorrow in the night or Saturday in the morning. Hurricane Katia has winds of 85 miles per hour gusting to 105 miles per hour. The pressure is 982 millibars and is moving southwest at 3 miles per hour pretty slowly. Location 21.5 degrees north, 95.1 degrees west, about 185 miles east southeast of Tampico and 175 miles north northeast of Veracruz. There is also hurricane warnings in effect for Veracruz, in this case from Cabo Rojo to Laguna, to Laguna Verde and tropical storm warnings from north of Cabo Rojo to Rio Panuco and south of Laguna Verde to Puerto Veracruz. This is the update uh, of those three hurricanes that it is the first time we see three simultaneous hurricanes active since in 2010 that were Carl, Igor and Julia so it happened a while ago but well if you want to be part of Force 13 please send us a message via Skype as Full13 F L O L 13 and an extension 9094 on Discord for having a tropical weather chat with other members there as well and to have the opportunity to collaborate with us as well. Don't forget to subscribe and following us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, stay safe and see you in the next update.